Hello, everyone. This is a reading and a heart and soul energy activation for the 1010 portal that's happening on October 10th. All right. This is for all signs. So hopefully it resonates with all of you. If it doesn't, that's okay. It's just not your message, but give it time and space in order to um, come to fruition as well. All right. So the first row is going to be oof, <laughs> the lessons that we are learning from this uh, 1010 portal. The second row is going to be the healing that needs to take place for the 1010 portal. And then also the last row will be um, what the 1010 portal is bringing for us here. Uh, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you haven't heard, the 21 days to opening and accelerating your psychic abilities will be starting on November 1st. So you want to make sure you get in that. I only run that a couple of times a year. So make sure you go ahead and sign up in the description box or in the comments below. Ooh, lots of swords in the second row here. Loving it. All right. We're starting out with the devil energy <laughs> in the lessons that we need to learn, which is the narcissistic card for me. Wow. Let's see what's going on. Wow. Beautiful. We're going to need, I'm going to need to pull one card as an overall energy. What's the overall energy for the 1010 portal, please? Nostalgia Reflection, the Tradition card, which is not a normal uh, card in the tarot. So just know that this 1010 portal is a reflection. It's also happening uh, right around the new moon, and it's also happening while Mercury is in retrograde. So there's a lot of, and there's a lot of planets in retrograde as well. So there's a lot of astrology happening around this too. And I do feel like the 1010 portal is a, um, uh, whew, how do I explain this? It's, it's like an energy that is like a balloon and it's going to get bigger and bigger, and then it's going to kind of pop. And when it pops, it's going to leave you, um, where you're at. So be very, um, be very aware of what is happening in your mind, in your energy, all of that good stuff so that you can understand where you are when that pops. And when I mean pops, it's not going to like explode. It's just going to be like, psh, it's done and then you're left somewhere. And being left means that maybe you've released something, maybe you've healed something, maybe you've shifted an identity, um, and you're going to be in a different place is what I'm seeing, okay? So the lessons that we learn here is the devil with the ace of swords, the two of wands, and the knight of wands. So I like this because, again, this is a, about releasing anything that to is toxic in your life. So, you know, I teach toxic relationships, I teach about healing your childhood trauma, and that's what this is all about to me. This is about letting go of the toxicity, the people that make you feel like you are less than, um, letting go of the people that put you down, letting go of the people that don't support you, letting go of situations, even maybe jobs or careers, as scary as it could be. But it's like, start to recognize what is toxic in your life? What is bringing you down? And it could even be you. It could be, I realized like for me, I was a toxic one too. Um, you know, take accountability for yourself as well, because with this ace of swords, like there's a brand new beginning, but this is an internal beginning. This is something on the inside that has to shift. And a lot of the times as us humans, we like to blame everybody else and everything else and all our external situations. But most of the time it's really our internal situation that is the problem the way we think our energy that's why i wrote a book it's not you it's your energy to learn how to understand your energy better um to actually help you feel better both mentally and physically so releasing anxiety and depression so i want you to just recognize um during this time as to get really clear on what you like in your life and what you don't and what you like within you and what you don't um, I was a very negative thinker, thinker my whole life. And I just thought that that's who I was, but it's not, <laughs> you can actually change those things about yourself. And that's what the two of wands is all about. And this Knight of wands, it's about taking action to go a different way. You know, nothing changes if nothing changes. So what are you doing to create the change that you want in your life? What are you doing? So those are the lessons uh, really about taking accountability and responsibility for where you are in your life and stop putting the blame on external circumstances is what I feel like the lessons are here um, for this 1010 portal. Now, going into the healing, we need to let go 
the six of swords, the eight of swords, because we feel stuck, king of swords, setting more boundaries, and the five of wands getting out of your head. <laughs> Very quick summary there. But this is about letting go. This is about letting go of that toxicity, the things like we feel like we have to hold on so tight but we can just let go. And this is what we teach in spiritual about spirituality is about surrendering, which is like one of the hardest things humans have to do because the human mind, the ego does not like that because it's giving up control. And the ego likes to be in control because that keeps you in your safe space. So the six of swords is about just letting go, stop blinding yourself, stop holding yourself hostage here. Okay. This is about, you know, feeling tied up and feeling like there's nowhere to go. There's no way, there's no way out of this. There's nothing that can help you or change you. And that's absolutely BS because there's so much. And with the King of Swords, this is about being stern. This is about standing up for yourself. It's about creating boundaries. But what will happen, especially, you know, my From Pain to Power Academy, we talk about personas. And here, right here, especially if you are a people pleaser or an overgiver, and you try to start to set boundaries here, the ego is going to come in with this five of wands and it's going to create conflict in your mind. You're going to feel guilty. You're going to feel bad. You're going to be, you're going to, all the abandonment issues that you've had in the past are going to start to come up. Once you start to try to change and create those boundaries for yourself so that this toxicity doesn't happen around you, if you are not healed or not strong enough at that point, your ego is going to come in and, and start feeling these certain ways, like feeling bad or feeling guilty for saying no to somebody or feeling like somebody's going to leave you if you do try to set boundaries um, or if you do try to stand up for yourself. And that's what this five of wands. So this, this is the healing that needs to take place is about, you know, letting go of people pleasing and over giving and setting your boundaries so that you can finally get yourself unstuck and feeling just in a better place. Like if you can see this ace of swords versus the six of swords and eight of swords, it's a very beautiful energy versus the stuck um, kind of darkness here. All right. Um, then we're going to move into... Sorry, I need a drink of water there. Then we're moving into kind of where this is taking us, where the 1010 um, portal is going to be kind of taking us. And this is the death card. So this is a transformation. You've got the 10 of swords. You've got the two of swords. And then you have the sun. And I feel this is so beautiful because it goes from the death to the sun. And the sun is my healing card. And the death is the transformation. You're, you're done with something here. And this is where I talk about the balloon popping and now it's leaving you somewhere. You're done here. It's time to let go completely. And there's a transformation going from the darkness to the light here. And the two of swords, you can see she has a blindfold on, but she's got the sword to cut it off. So everything you need to get to this beautiful sun, the butterfly, we talk about that in the stages of healing, right? We go from awareness to the hermit mode, to the butterfly, to the phoenix stage. Now the butterfly is here. So if you want to get to that butterfly stage, if you want to come out of that cocoon, out of the tombstone, out of the grave, right? If you want to let go of all this negativity, all these people that have stabbed you in the back in the past. It's about time that you take control you take action in order to let the blindfold off and see things for what they truly are and to start to heal that part of you and moving into the sun here, moving into that beautiful butterfly. So you don't have to live in darkness is kind of where this 1010 portal is bringing us. It's opening your eyes to what can be. It's opening your eyes to what was in the past and what you want the future to be. And allowing you to believe and understand that you are a spiritual being living a human experience with this human mind, which is your ego. And it's allowing you to know that you can make changes in your life so that you don't have to live in this darkness. And as I do that, two of swords, which is balance, restored and resolution. So spirit is definitely telling you that there is a way out. There is a way out. There's a way for you to feel better. And you've got the wheel of fortune, which is change and action. So it's about creating change and it's about pushing through the fear of the unknown. It's about pushing through the fear of what change actually is. 
Um, and it's pushing through the fear of who you think you might be on the other side and who you think might leave when you become that person. Um, because people leave whether you change or not. So wouldn't it be better to be happy and let people leave rather than be miserable and they leave anyway? Because then you've got the justice card. Honorable choices here. You deserve happiness. You deserve to be able to see things clearly. And you deserve to, you know, become this butterfly and open those wings and, and fly and spread them, you know? You deserve that. And that's what this 1010 portal is bringing to you. Now, again, we are human and we have free will. So if you choose to not reflect and you choose to not, you know, pay attention to what we're trying to tell you here, then you'll stay stuck exactly where you are. But if you choose, if you choose, um, you know, the other way, if you choose to let go and you choose to open your heart and allow the universe to help you, then you will create this massive, massive change in your life. And the question that we need to focus on for this 1010 portal is, am I focused on what I am losing or gaining? And it says, are you going through some change? Are you scared to let go because of what you might lose? What if you shifted your focus from what you might lose to what you might gain? Endings are actually new beginnings. Today's sole action. Today, make a list of all the things you will gain from the change you are going through. Feel your heart, take a breath, and deepen into trust. Amazing things are coming. So this is spirit confirming everything that they were just bringing to you here. It's like... <laughs> if you were saying like, yeah, right. Or like, that's not me or she's not talking to me. Like we're talking to you. <laughs> we are talking to you and spirit just wanted to confirm that we are speaking to you. So if you had those thoughts, this is spirit confirming that for you is that this is the time for change right here, right now. You either get on board or you miss it. And then you've got to wait till the next opportunity. And the question is, is how much longer do you want to go through life feeling the way that you feel right here, right now today, right? Searching for answers, um, get, trying to gain clarity. So let's go do some heart and soul activation here with your energy. Um, it's going to sound a little weird if you haven't done this before. It's the first time I'm bringing it to my YouTube channel. Um, so just go with it. I'm going to be channeling spirit through. You're going to be hearing a little bit of a different language, also some English in, in between. Uh, so what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to focus on whatever change that you know that you've been wanting to create in your life. And I just want you to bring that to the surface right here. And we're just going to activate within you the part of you that is ready to change, the part of you that is ready to break free from whatever pain and whatever suffering, whatever this Ten of Swords card is here. All right, so go ahead and just close your eyes. And I want you to take a deep breath in and just relax. You can go ahead and let it out. And then take another deep breath in. And go ahead and let it out. Just gonna work with your energy here. We're gonna activate it. Ashkalavete kishalavata kosarava, shakalavete, shakalavata komosarava, shakala, ashkalavete kosarava. Whatever that pain is, whatever you've been carrying, shakalavete komosarava, shakalavete ki, ashkalavete ki, we release it. Ashkalavete kishala, ashkalavete komusarava, ashkalavete shakalave, shalavete komusarava shala, ashke, ashkalavete komusarava, shakalavete komusarava shala, ashkalavete komusarava. Just bring that to the surface and just let it go. Shakalavete kishalavete kos, ashke, ashkalavete komusarava to the throat here. Spirit saying that you need to say what you need to say. Shakalavate ki shalavate ki. Don't be scared. Shalavate kumu sarava. Hashkalavate ki shalavate kumu sarava. She sha she kola ve moshale eshalavate sarava. Just letting all that energy come up and out. Shakalavate transmuting it to beautiful white light. Ashkalavate ki shalavate kumu sarava. Ashkalavate ki using the energy of the ten ten portal here. 
to activate your energy. Shakalevateki, to activate your light. Shakalevate, Ashkalevateki, Shalavatokosarava, to let go of the fear that you feel. Shakalevate, Shakalevatokosarava, Ashkalevate, Shakalev, to let go of any attachment you have to other people. Shakale, that's keeping you stuck. Shakalevateki, Shala, Ashkalevate, Mosarava, Shale, Ashkale, Ashkalevatokosarava. Just let go all that fear. Just let it come through. If it gets emotional, let it come. Shakalavate, shalavato kosaravashala, shakalavato mosaravashalavate kosaravi. Allowing the energy just to flow through you here. Shalavato kosaravato mosaravashala, ashkalavato kosaravashala, shalavate ki, shalavato kosaravashalamate ki. Allowing yourself to see things through a new pair of eyes. Shalavate ko shalavate. Shalavate ko, the eyes with no judgment. Shakalave, no shame. Shakalavate, no guilt. Shakalavate ko Accepting yourself for who you are. Shalavate ko musaravala. Ashkalavate ko saravashala. Seeing the light inside of you. Shalavate ko mushala. Shalavate ki shalavate ko sarava. Opening your heart to the change that's about to happen in your life, shalavetekishala, and committing to yourself to create this change in your life, shalavetekishala vetekomosarava. All right, go ahead and take a deep breath in and let it out. And take another deep breath in here, shalavetekosarava. And go ahead and let it out. Bring awareness back to your body here. Allowing yourself to be this new person. Allowing yourself to create the change that you've been desperately seeking in your life. And allowing yourself to believe in yourself. To know that it's possible for you. And yes, you. That is who I'm talking to. You. All right. Much love to all of you. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the energy healing of that, um, the activation as well. And then also make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you haven't and you want to enroll into the 21 days to opening and accelerating your psychic abilities, you can go ahead and do that in the comments um, and also in the description box below. Have a wonderful 1010 portal. Use this energy wisely. Create the change in your life that you have been seeking to do so. 